everyone, my name is Leah Gaia and I'm a stylist and a designer and today I'm going to tell you about how to shop clothes online, what are the common mistakes, how to avoid them and also what are the gains of shopping clothes online. Uh, so let's start. So here are my some of my gains and some of my mistakes. I'm going to start with a mistake right here and this was a color mistake. I thought that this shirt is going to be a little bit of a beige color, but when it came, uh, it actually came very, very pale. And it doesn't suit my face at all, and since it's uh, wearable next to my face, I couldn't wear it, unfortunately. I really like the fabric because it's natural silk organza, and it, it was a nice, uh, kind of like a layering thing, but I find that I didn't, didn't really wear it at all. So that wasn't the best one. So if you shop for something that is close to your skin tone or maybe like a half tone or pale pastel or something like that, make sure that you see it on different screens. Um, see it on the warmer screen, see it maybe on your computer, on your tablet. See how that looks on different screens and if all the screens uh, look good, if you're pretty confident about it, then most likely it's going to be uh, a good piece to shop for. Uh, make sure you also know the return policy of that thing because uh, if you buy something from mass market for example and that was a really good deal and the return shipping actually cost more uh, than the item itself then of course it doesn't make sense to purchase it if you're not sure about it. But if you're sure about it then that's a pretty good deal. So the next thing uh, I really like online shopping because you can find really good bargains. For example, a great cashmere sweater dress. Uh, I bought it for, if I'm not mistaken, around $30 or something like that with shipping. It was from US. I shipped it to Northern Europe. And the shipping cost me around $5 to $6. Uh, and usually this brand uh, offers these things for... Uh, close to $300, but I got it for $30, so that's a really nice deal. I bought it on eBay. Uh, and also, a uh, very important thing to uh, bear in mind, that if you buy something that is from uh, knitting, for example, cashmere or wool, um, make sure that uh, you're not from the people who um, have trouble with wool things. Uh, because a lot of wool things, if they're not made from quality material, they're pretty scratchy. Uh, and sometimes even merino wool is scratchy. Because merino wool is a finer fabric. Merino wool is supposed to be very nice and soft, but that's not always the case. So make sure that you buy things from cashmere and alpaca. And if you don't have any problem, if uh, usually clothes don't scratch your skin, then you can be pretty confident in buying also wool online. All right, a uh, very good way to make sure that the clothing item will fit you is to buy things that are stretchy. Uh, this, for example, is not my size. This is, uh, I believe, a Topshop dress. Uh, it was a size too small, but I kind of needed a dress like that, so I purchased it, and it just stretches, so uh, it goes very well on me. Uh, you can also buy things that are a little bit bigger, and then tailor them to make them smaller. If that's, for example, uh, a good bargain for a good designer that you like, um, to, buy, uh, to, for example, pay a little bit to your tailor, that's actually a good bargain also. So, another thing that's good for online shopping, for bargain shopping, uh, is getting things from outlets. For example, these two Max Mara dresses I got from an outlet. Um, and they had the things, you, if you can see here, the labels are cut off and this is how they came to me. Um, sometimes that happens when the labels are cut off. Uh, that's uh, for the reason that they don't want you to return it to the store. So usually all these outlet uh, purchases are final. Sometimes you can return them. Uh, but these are really good deals. Uh, I made it, made sure that everything's fine. I went to the tailor and uh, kind of uh, took this one in, and this one was fitting right. And I got it with a 90% discount. 
I kind of like that. 90% <laughs> discount is a good, is a good bargain, right? Um, and another thing, I remember ordering the skirt. I really liked it. Like, uh, I liked the symmetry of it, kind of the vibe of it. Uh, but I saw the price of it. I think it was in a, one of the UK online stores. And I was thinking, mm, I don't know, because I'm not going to wear it that much for that price. I don't know. And then the sales came and the price was just 85% off, if, if I'm not mistaken. And then, but the problem was there was only one size left, only 44. For comparison, I'm 34. So that's quite a big of a difference, 10 sizes. Uh, but I wanted that skirt and I went to the tailor and she made it perfectly. Uh, all, everything she made great. Everything is symmetrical, lovely. Even she adjusted the length. So everything kind of fits great. And that cost me, I'm not sure if I remember right now, but that cost me around 20 to 30 euros. So if I see the price that, for example, is marked down from a couple of thousand and uh, tailoring would cost you like 50 bucks, then it's not a bad deal, right? If you can buy something that's bigger um, but actually <laughs> take it in so it fits you but make sure that you have a good tailor because tailors uh, are uh, sometimes sometimes they want don't want to do this because they say that it's too much work or they don't want to they don't know how to so make sure that you have a good tailor that can also adjust your blazers and things like that having a good tailor is uh, the perfect thing if you're doing a lot of online shopping uh, and another thing that's really safe to buy online are oversized pieces. For example, uh, this is uh, a wool coat, a blanket coat that I really like, and it's quite big. And it's size XS. Uh, honestly, uh, somebody size M may completely wear it. It's not a big deal. <laughs> it would fit them very good. So oversized things, uh, they're actually very... Uh, current right now are really great to buy online. Uh, there are also common pitfalls when you buy online, for example, pants. Make sure uh, that you check the inseam of the pant because sometimes on the model, model might be uh, taller. So sometimes on the model it looks a certain length, but maybe on your legs it would be a different length. Uh, a lot of a technology is advancing already and you can see how things look on different models and a lot of websites. It's ASOS for example. Um, a lot of websites are coming to this step by step. I really hope that uh, every website will be going uh, to that right now. But we still have to wait a little bit. Uh, sometimes I order two sizes. For example, these pants. Uh, I ordered size 34 and size 36 and size 34 fit me. Uh, I ordered them to the store. I went to the store, I tried both on and one fit me and one I gave back immediately. So that's a very good way, very good strategy how to uh, shop for things that uh, you don't have time for really looking for your size and you're kind of not sure uh, does that brand offer the sizing that you think you have? Because, for example, uh, Spanish brands, um, I need size 38 for my pants, for Spanish brands, for example, very common ones, uh, because they make everything smaller. And when I go, for example, German brands, I need to get the size 32 or sometimes 34. So that's the difference between three sizes, right? So make sure that you check always um, the little a measurement table that always comes with the description of uh, the certain thing. Well, thank you very much for watching and have a really good and safe online shopping.